Right, so another important aspect obviously of riding any bike ride really over a couple of hours but particularly something this length is nutrition so I thought I'd give you a quick idea of some of the some of the things I'll be having on the bike and also when I come back to the house because I am going to come back to the house and try and get some real food because the stuff you carry on the bike can get a bit boring after a while. So this is a this is most of it. Uh, there's other things, you know, I'll be having a, a full meal uh, at six o'clock on Saturday, so that's not here. That's going to be like, like chicken burger salad and sweet potato fries is on the agenda. But uh, hydration, I like cranberry juice, so I tend to go 50-50 water and classic cranberry juice, so it's a bit more sugar and a bit more carbs. Lucas A Sport just to mix things up a bit. I don't tend to drink Lucozade Sport, but when you're getting a bit tired and stuff, something like that can be a bit of a boost. Uh, bacon for a bacon sandwich at the nighttime stop, like about 11 or so. Um, I'll be having porridge uh, in the morning and, and then again in the morning uh, af well, while I'm doing it, so Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And I like to have some cranberries and uh, blueberries in there and I also put in uh, a lot of cinnamon because again that's good for inflammation. Pain relief, probably going to need that. Some more spare batteries for the backlights. Oat cakes and almond butter, that's really good. Fruit juice for actually for today and tomorrow and some for during the night. Then this came from Red Bull just came in the post probably won't be using that might use it after with a bit of vodka or something celebrate little handlebar bag this is where i'll put some of my nutrition i'll have some in my back pockets and i'll probably be able to carry enough for like the first six hours and then i'll just stock up when i get back and the stuff i'll be carrying on the bike protein flapjack so good for carbs as well energy gels with caffeine these are great if you're flagging a little bit or you've not had enough nutrition because these tend to hit you pretty quick and then energy bars so these are actual you know just bars these are really fine and they're quite high in carbs so between like one of these bars and um a bottle of cranberry it's it's more or less the amount of carbs i need for an hour and then if i'm needing a bit of a boost my favorite chocolate clear is nice and light so I'll be able to scoff these pretty quick and not feel too full. Um, yeah, and that's about it for, for the nutrition. I'm obviously not going to have all of this. You know, I'm not going to have a whole box of energy bars, but it's just to give you an idea of the different types of things. And on a long ride like this, 24 hours, a variety is definitely what you need. A short ride, three or four hours, I would just take a mixture of these and some fluids. But yeah, you need to mix it up a bit or otherwise you'll get bored or your stomach will start to uh, fight against you if you keep putting the same thing in. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of God knows how much calories it's going to be total. I'll maybe try and work that out uh, once I'm finished. But average when I'm cycling, it's normally about 500 calories an hour. So yeah, you can do the rough maths on that so it's going to be a fair chunk of eating which is good because i love eating <laughs>